British police are traveling to the United States to interview the wife of an American diplomat. She's accused of causing a deadly car crash and then leaving the country. Tonight, the victim's family is still seeking justice. And seeing justice done. British police are heading to the U.S. as their investigation into Harry Dunn's death continues. The suspect not being in the county clearly frustrates the investigation, but it does not stop it. Police are going to interview Anne Sekoulis, the wife of an American diplomat. She was allegedly behind the wheel and on the wrong side of the road when she crashed into the 19-year-old who was riding his motorcycle in the English countryside. She fled the country under diplomatic immunity, reportedly in a U.S. Air Force plane. Detectives last questioned Sekoulis two months ago, the day after the crash. Police say she is cooperating, but will only speak on American soil. Lawyers have clearly stated that the suspect wants to be personally interviewed by officers from Northamptonshire Police in order for them to see her and the devastation that this has also caused her and her family. Dunn's parents say they buried their son eight weeks ago and are desperate for justice. We feel it's a huge step in the right direction, um, very much so. Um, it feels like we're finally getting somewhere. Last week, they flew to Washington and met with President Trump. Sekoulis was also at the White House, but Dunn's family refused to meet with her until she returns to Britain. We still want her on the plane to come back to the UK. You know. President Trump has said Sekoulis will not be sent back. Dunn's parents hope British police can convince her otherwise. The Dunn family is considering legal action while diplomatic immunity prevents them from suing Sekoulis. The family can sue the American government for damages.